Where have I been? And more importantly, why am I back? Stay tuned to find out. As you may have noticed, I haven't posted any content on this channel in some time. Over 10 months, in fact. Here's what happened. Last December, I took a couple weeks off to relax. In January, I began work on a new video. You may recall Yasser Khadi's meltdown, or as he put it, smackdown, where he ranted about Jay Smith and others. I was taking segments from this video and mixing them with other clips of Khadi, where he did the very things he accused others of, and then having him respond to himself with the insults he attempted to lay on others. Quite a lot of work went into this video. But then, disaster struck. My hard drive failed. I didn't have a backup of the in-progress video. After some thought, I decided to send it off to professionals to see if the data could be recovered. In the end, it couldn't. All of this took a couple months. By then, I was out of the habit of YouTube. The way I work, I grew through spurts where I'm 100% all in on one activity followed by periods where I'm 100% into something else. The disappointment of losing a month's effort, combined with getting out of the routine, meant I stepped away from YouTube after finishing up a couple things that were already in progress. Although, I did continue to do my weekly Bible study on my other channel. It worked out for the best, as an unusually demanding work schedule would have prevented serious devotion to YouTube over the summer anyway. Recently, the Lord called me back to ministry, and after some thought, I began work on a new YouTube video, a long one looking at the Quran's blatant air on Yahya, John the Baptist. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out, as I've tried out some new things in the video. So, as you can see, I'm back now, which means I'm 100% all in again, and you can expect regular content from me for a while. More on that in a minute. But first, I have been thinking about how to best serve the Lord. I hope this isn't taken as a brag, but in the parable of the talents, I view myself as one who has received five coins. And to whom much is given, much is expected. I wonder if my time is best used on YouTube, something I really don't have natural talent for, or whether it would be better used writing papers, getting involved in teaching, or simply earning money that can be donated to more productive ministries. So, if you think YouTube is something I should be doing, I would like to ask a couple things of you. YouTube content works best when it is focused. As such, I posted a survey on my community page to ask what my primary focus should be. A link is below. Please take a minute to let me know your thoughts. Additionally, I'd like to ask you to help this channel grow. Some of you are blessed with free time, others with talents relevant to online ministry, and others financial resources. If you have time, Please help out responding to comments here and spreading the word about my content on other channels and other platforms. If you have talents, please leave a message or contact me privately with how you'd like to help out. That includes the opportunity for paid work, by the way, so do let me know what you can do. And if you have funds, consider supporting me on Patreon. 100% of donated funds will go towards ministry expenses and not into my pockets. If you think my YouTube work is not particularly valuable, I want to hear that as well. Leave me a comment below, or go ahead and unsubscribe. Don't be afraid of hurting my feelings. I'd rather know the truth and pursue something else than waste the Lord's gifts on a non-productive endeavor. Now, back to my immediate plans. Preliminary work on my next video is underway. It will be called something like the one word that every Muslim is afraid of. I'll leave you in suspense of what that word might be. I've been in contact with Sneakers Corner and Lloyd DeYoung. 
Stay tuned for a recorded video on sneakers and a live stream here with Lloyd. To generate attention, I plan to challenge David Wood to a debate. Frankly, Muslim debaters are terrible, and I think I can do better. That's right, I'll be taking the Muslim side of the debate. Well, sort of. Stay tuned for more info. I also would like to continue my series on so-called scientific miracles in the Quran and my series on Muslim movements to Christ. I have a few other ideas in mind, but those aren't definite enough to comment on. All that should keep me busy for several months. After that, we'll see where the Lord takes me. Thanks for watching, and God bless.